Opening day at Wrigley. Sammy's new deal all done. He's ready to welcome the Expos. Ninth inning. We're even at four. There's Eric gotcha. Young. And there he goes. Young, his second steal of the afternoon. Sandy Martinez's throw is way off. Scott Strickland is concerned about Young on second, so he tries to pick off. But there's nobody home. Young to third still. Only one out. New guy, Bill Miller, looking to cash in. Here's your chance to be a hero. He lines one for this right at least. Stevens Miller 0 for 5 in his Cubby debut. There's two outs now. Augie Ojeda up with the bases loaded. Graham Lloyd gets him. Lloyd his first action in 18 months after tearing a rotator cuff. Top 10, then on the corners, two out for Vladimir Guerrero. Ricky Gutierrez can't handle it. Jose Vidro comes in. Guerrero two for five. The Expos 5-4 win. Sosa Monday one for three with a double. Struck out twice, walked twice. Expos win their first of the season after ending last year with a nine-game losing streak. Just looking for their first win, hosting Montreal. A little shaky in the first for Wood. Runners on second and third, Vlad Guerrero. Peter Bergeron and Jose Vidra would score. Expos would lead 3-0 after one, but that was really the only bad inning for Kerry Wood. He would just get stronger as the day went on. The matinee facing Peter Bergeron. Woods went seven, eight hits allowed, three earned runs, 10 Ks. Good to see that for Kerry Wood. Meanwhile, Cubs try to rally in the ninth. Runners on the corners. Rondell White, Ubi Urbina, Sammy Sosa caught running a second. Urbina hasn't picked off. And White would ground out to the shortstop to end the game, and the Expos win. Cubs stranding 11 runners, six. Expos going for the three-game sweep at Wrigley. Bottom first, no score to one for the Cubs. Rondell White rips the single to center. That scores Bill Miller. Cubs up one nothing. White two for three with an RBI. Now bottom second, runner on second, two outs. Eric Young fouls the pitch off his foot. He goes head over heels. Uh, the good news is that Young would be okay. He proves it. Same at bat. Young grounds it to third. But the poor throw by Fernando Tatis gets by first, allowing Todd Hundley to score, throwing error on Tatis. He would later leave with an upper back strain. Cubs up two to nothing. Top four is Kevin Tappany looking solid. Strikes out Vlad Guerrero to end the inning. Yep, Cubs fans facing the cold, top of the six. Tim Raines back with the Expos and pinch hitting, doubles to left center. Now two batters later, Raines at third with two outs. Tappany getting it done, strikes out Andy Tracy to end the inning. Tappany, seven innings, two hits, nine Ks, zero runs. Cubs win it. Mets in Montreal, Spoh's home opener. That's a Montreal firefighter dressed as Mets catcher Michael Barrett. There's the real version. Top one, this is Mike Piazza, and that's a home run. A two-run shot off Mike Thurman. Piazza's second. Thurman allowed five runs on seven hits in five innings. It's 2-0 New York. Bottom two, they're loaded for Orlando Cabrera. And this is going to take a one-hop off the wall. Tim Raines rounding third, coming up from behind on Lee Stevens. You know, he's still fast at 41 years old. Three-run score. Cabrera, however, out at third. Expos down 4-3. Bottom six. This is not a firefighter. It's the real Michael Barrett off Brian Rose. Rose allowed three solo homers in one and two-third in his Mets debut. Barrett's first of the year. Expos win 10-6. Here against the Mets, it was Lee Stevens' day at the O. Stevens facing Steve Traxel in the fourth, and that one is gone. It's a Sir Queen French, a home run, 3 0 Spoh, Stevens' first home run of the season, but he's not done yet. Expos up 4 0 in the fifth, two on this time, and he connects off Traxel for a three run shot. Expos go up 7 0, Stevens. Three for four with six RBI, a career high. Javier Vasquez doing it on the mound for Montreal as he gets Timo Perez there. Vasquez, seven innings pitched. Expos take it 10 to nothing. For the second straight day, the Expos put up a 10 spot against the Mets. Stevens with that career high six ribbies. Vasquez combined with Scott Stewart and Ugi Urbina for the shutout. Traxel took the loss in his Mets debut, giving up a career high tying 10 runs and only four. And John, it's a tradition like no other. The Expos going for the sweep on the Mets. There's Al Leiter. Looking to avoid a sweep here. Robin Ventura. Look out! There's a bat coming at me. Fernando Tatis. Broken bat grounder. Ventura got out of the way. Run scores Leiter. That's the way it works. In the six, Mets down three. And here, the base is loaded. Guillermo Moda gets out of that one on Edgardo Alfonso. In the seventh, Turk Wendell to Vladimir Guerrero. Now, Wendell called Vlad a freaking baby after an inside pitch on... Saturday, and uh, then he swung at a 3 0 pitch with a 10 0 lead. But the yeah, Cubs and Expos in Montreal. Montreal playing tribute to Willie Stargell by putting flowers in the CD hit 535 feet from home plate. Sammy tries the same off Britt Reams. 
about 135 meters. Sosa second of the year. It's 5-3 Cubbies. Top seven. Sammy bringing home Gary Matthews Jr. with his second crank. 45th multi-home run game of his career. It's a 5-5 tie. Bottom seventh, Jose Vidra. Oh, boy. Needs a little pine tar there. Almost impaled Fernando Tatis. Next pitch. Broken bat. Foul ball. We got an 0-2 count. A little new lumber. Step up there. Take another hack. And the Ibarra's pitch thinks he's got him for strike three. No ball one. Vidro. Oh, could have used that pitch back. Adios. He gets to trot home. Vidro's second of the year. And the Expos win it by a count of seven to five. Sosa now 389 home runs. That ties him with the banger banger for 37th all time. It's six and one. Montreal off to its best start since 1974. The Cubs fall to 0-1 in night games this season on Tuesday. 8,000 people showed up. Must have been a big game. Tony Armas Jr. pitching to Sammy Sosa, and there's Vidro. Sweet pick, good chuck. Armas gave up no hits through five. Top six, still one nothing. Man on for Sosa, oh boy. That's about 130 meters. Two run shot, Sosa's third homer of the series, fourth of the year. Bottom 7-4-1 now, Kyle Farnsworth strikes out Fernando Tatis, and then Vlad Guerrero, 0 for 3. Oh! Don't swing at the one in your eyes. Cubs win it 4-2. Montreal's second loss, both of them, to Kevin Tappany. He's allowed just two runs in 13 innings against the Expos. So surpassed Johnny Bench, the binger banger, and tied Greg Nettles for 36th on the homer list. Cubs and Expos in Montreal. Julio Tavares up with runners on the corner. And Tavares dragging the bunt. Lee Stevens goes home, but Ricky Gutierrez beats him. It's two zip Cubbies. Bottom six, 4 nothing Cubs. Lee Stevens, ground ball, EY. Eric Young with the dive, hops up and guns him down. And how many times do you see a guy makes a great defensive play, comes up next inning and gets hit in the leg. Ouch. Mike Thurman did the damage. Young would take a good look at him. And then he and Michael Barrett would get into it. The benches would clear, some aggressive milling around. Nothing came of it, no ejections. Baseball continued. Jeff Facero induces Tim Raines to ground out to Bill Miller. And the Cubbies win it 4-2. to two. Cicero pitches a perfect ninth. He's now 4-4 four for four in save ops. Montreal up 3-0 already. Bottom of the fourth. Ryan Dempster on the mound. Pitching to Jose Vidro. Vidro connects, but it's a pop-up, really. Fly ball. Cliff Floyd, great play. Floyd also two for five. He's hitting 394. Vlad Guerrero up the middle. Luis Castillo diving from his knees and gets Vlad at the first. Vlad 0 for three in this game. He's still hitting 303. Top of the six with a runner on second. Mike Lowell. What he's got is not available in stores. A two-run home run. His second on the year. Lowell two for five in this game. He had a double as well. Hey, Lowell drove in four of the nine Marlin runs. Ryan One. As we move along, it is Florida and Montreal. Ripped. Coming home, and we have ourselves a double play. So Florida Marlins bail themselves out with some defense. Blah da 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 da. He's got his first home run of the season. <laughs> Took him a while, but he got it. 4 1 Montreal. Swinging a drive. Taylor made double play. Tough play. Got him. Love the middle of the Marlins infield. They are Active. fun to watch. Castillo Gonzalez. Cabrera to third. We're seeing some, some leather being thrown by Florida here in a 4-2 game. Stayed that way. Bottom six, two down. Cliff Floyd can't get there. Pedro's double helped. Now Tatis ripped City into center field. The throw not by Wilson. Pedro comes in 6-2 Montreal again. Vlade, you hang him and he's going to bang him all, all the way to the wall. Look at Tatis motoring around. He's being waved home. Tatis is in. How about the Spos spotting the Marlins a 7-2, 8-2 final? No shot sheet. One's up 3-0. Preston Wilson on third with two outs and John Mabry at the plate and Tony Armas Jr. throws strike two. And you notice Randy Nor lobbing the ball back to Armas, so Wilson says, I'll just steal home or something to that effect. Look at it again. Nor who had two homers on the day, lobbing it back to the pitcher, and Wilson takes off. It's a steal of home, straight, flat out. And that's part of the way the Marlins won six, three, and taking a two of three in Montreal. Jason Grilly gets the win. He also homered. 
first career homer for him. Said Felipe Alou of the Steel. I haven't seen that play since I did it myself many, many years ago. <laughs> Mike Piazza. This off Mike Thurman. It's a double to right center. They're going to wave Daryl Hamilton. Thurman allowed four runs on seven hits and three and a third. It's one nothing Mets. Bottom three. Thurman facing Ray Ordonez with the bases loaded. Ray Ray the other way. Robin Ventura and Todd Zeal score. Ordonez tied for second on the team with seven RBI after totaling just nine in 45 games last season. Four nothing Mets. Tough night for Vlad Guerrero. First at bat. You know what? I'm not even running that out. Oh. His second at bat. This time he runs a little too much. It's up the middle and Vlad the Impaler getting a bit aggressive here. Nice throw by Jay Payton. Relay by Todd Zeal. Vlad Guerrero is out. The Mets hang on 4-3. Rick Reed falls shy of his attempt to become the first pitcher since Shane Rawley in 1983 to open a season with three straight complete games. Still, Reed has 14 strikeouts and zero walks in 25 innings this season. In fact, dating back to last season, Rick Reed has now thrown 32 consecutive innings without issuing a base on balls. Face the Mets. Todd Zeal with a runner on. Zeal, who had only five hits in this home stand had three in this game including that two run homer off of Chris Peters Seals first homer of the year Mets up 2-0 same score in the fifth 41 year old Tim Raines on second Jose Vidro Joe McEwing sweet catch Mets win 4-0 the Mets who came in with the NL's lowest batting average have now scored eight runs over the last two games. Glendon Rush, who got his first win, hasn't allowed a run in 14 straight innings at Shea. Montreal's meat of the order, Tatis, Guerrero, and Stevens combined to go one for 11 against Rush. Expos Matt, Steve Traxel, control problems all afternoon against Montreal. Jose Vidro likes when that happens. A third decker at Shea, 428 feet away. Vidro's fourth, it's 7-1 Expos. Same score, top nine, Donnie Wall. Vladimir Guerrero. Mets not a big fan of Vlad. Bad blood all season long in the six games between these teams. X-rays revealed no fracture but a contusion. Guerrero is day-to-day. -day. He'll be re-evaluated on Thursday. Javier Vasquez shuts down the Mets for the second time this year, scattering just two hits over with my five-year-old son, by the way. Charles Johnson, 437 feet away. Johnson's fourth of the year. We're tied at one. And then it was Johnson against Mike Johnson. A tribute to Johnson's everywhere. Charles Johnson is fifth of the year. We're tied at two. Still tied, bottom eight, bases loaded, one out. Scott Strickland, wild. Michael Barrett chasing it down. But Mike Lowell comes in from third to score. Marlins go on to the victory. Marlins relievers held the lead for their first win this year. The Florida bullpen was 0-6. 3-0 Marlins. Jason Gurule facing Jose Vidro. Eric Owens with a great extension. Take another look. Owens in support of Gurile, who went seven innings, three hits, and just one earned. Eighth inning, 3-1 Florida, Preston Wilson. Oh, Ugi Abina is going to have nightmares about that. Wilson's second home run of the game, two for four with three RBI. Marlins win 5-1. Wilson. Baseball's not Expos and Marlins. A crisply played game here and in the second inning, Orlando Cabrera. Oh, look at this play. And he gets Charles Johnson. That's the play of the series. I tell you, you know, you watch, play, I mean, even guys like Cabrera and Jack Wilson, they're not among the elite of, you know, your big offensive shortstops and defensive gold glovers, but tremendous plays made by these type of players. Here, Mike Lowell in the fourth, with two men on, drills that. Lewis Castillo coming around, he's going to score. Cliff Floyd coming around. Where is he? Come on, Cliff. He's going to score. Yeah. Well, the big man going in there. Lowell, nine doubles, leads the National League. More defense here. Castillo with the shot. Milton Bradley almost got caught up there. Yeah, watch his glove position as he makes this catch. Normally, a guy's backhand this ball. He, he had a scoop it. Very difficult play. Here in the sixth, Brad Penny facing Tatis, and CJ gets his mask. They had in mind when they brought Charles Johnson back. Brad Penny gets some help and eight Ks, by the way. Here, Alex Gonzalez. You know the Marlins wanted more out of him. Puts that out after a very bad season last year. Gonzalez got to feel good, drills that. And here to close things up, double play. And that is a sweet win for the Marlins. Brad Penny, his first career shutout, strikes out eight men. This game, the fastest nine-inning game of the season, one hour and 54 minutes. The
Expos in St. Louis. Top of the first, no score. Runners on second and third. But Daryl Kyle gets Vladimir Guerrero swinging. Seven strikeouts, no walks for Kyle. Top of the third, still scoreless. Runner in scoring position for Guerrero. But that runner in scoring position, Javier Vasquez, is going to test Jim Edmonds and lose the battle. A lot of posings at the plate in this show. Bottom of the third, runner on first, Placido Polanco. Grounds to a surefire double play, but Fernando Tatis boots it twice. Runners on first and second now. Two batters later, Albert Pujols brings in two runs. He leads the team with 19 RBI. Cards up 2-0. He now leads the National League with a 377 average. His 26 hits are just two behind Jose Vidro for the league lead. Bottom of the fourth, Jim Edmonds unloads the bases as Jeff Blum misplays the ball. Clearing the bases, cards go up 5-1 and win 7-2. Daryl Kyle improves to 3-0 against Montreal the past two seasons, giving up just one run in 23 innings. With Guerrero facing Andy Bennis. Vladimir Guerrero, the shot, Fernando Vina knocking it down. The underrated Fernando Vina throws the first for the out. Vlad 0 for 5, he's hitting 271. It was 2-1 Expos, though, bottom four. Albert Pujols. So fresh and so clean, Albert Pujols, number seven on the year for the rookie who's filling in for Big Mac. By the way, the rookie who's filling in for Big Mac, Pujols, he's hitting 375. Cards go up four to two. Five, two bases full now in the seven for Michael Barrett against Gene Steck Schulte. And Steck Schulte gets Barrett to pop up and Pujols makes the catch. Barrett was one for four, everyone. I think that's rejoicing. Cards win, 5-2. to two. Who would have thought Albert Pujols would be the guy to help make up for the loss of the injured Mark McGuire? The rookie drives in three runs for the third straight game. His seven homers and 22 RBIs leads the Cardinals. Jim Edmonds, 3-for-3 three three with an RBI single. He's hitting 377. The Expo stranded 13. Base is empty. Jose Vitro taking and keel deep. Fifth homer of the year for Vitro. Fernando Tatis would follow with a homer on the very next pitch. So the Expos up 3-0, and Ankeel struggling. Top of the fifth, Expos up 3-1, Oakland. All the way to the backstop, and that would be a sign of things to come. Two batters later, Ankeel missing badly there. He walks Tatis. Cards pitching coach Dave Duncan has seen enough. Ankeel would leave the game after going four and a third, giving up six hits, three runs, and walking four. Bottom of the eighth, Cards. Runners on first and third, down 3-2. Larry Sutton, the pinch hitter, coming through. Edgar Renteria scores. We're tied at three. Now by the magic of videotape editing, we take you to the top of the 15th. Bases loaded for the Expos. Mike James walking Milton Bradley. Tatis comes in to score what would prove to be the game winner. Somewhat anticlimactic, but that was how it ended. Montreal avoids the sweep. 97 when he was with the Phils. Bottom of the third. That's Mark Leiter with the bat. Single to right. Vladimir Guerrero going to try to get him at first, but his throw sails past first base. Leiter, after hesitating, runs to second, but gets thrown out by Expos catcher Randy Knorr. Top of the fourth, Vlad the Impaler impaling another baseball. Only his second home run of the year. But that puts the Expos up 2-1. to one. Top of the ninth now. Gray King tries to intentionally walk Fernando Seganal, but he throws it past catcher Henry Blanco. Jeff Blum comes home. Wild pitch charge to King. Expos win it 6-1. to one. As for Mark Leiter, he allowed only two hits and two runs in five innings. Struck out five and didn't walk anybody. He was the victim of no run support. Peters. Oh, and he got him. Everyone take a look. This would be a theme. We're tied at two. Jenkins fifth of the year. Bottom four. Jenkins facing Peters again. And oh, he got him again. This time he sticks him over the right center field wall. Second home of the day. Peters is mercifully excused. Bottom five. Two outs, two on. Scott Stewart pitching now. And Jenkins, well, he gets him as well to left center. Bye-bye. His third of the game. We are going to need a curtain call. Thank you. The Brewers up 7-2. Bottom seven, base is bloated. Jenkins up a gun. Jenkins. Again, do we hear four? The short answer is no. Struck out by Masato Yoshi. The Brewers win 8-4. Jenkins three for four with six ribs. That's already the fifth three-homer game of the season. Carlo you get a long way to go, but after three home runs on Saturday, Jeff Jenkins looking for a piece of history himself. Of Javier Vasquez of the Expos. Gone.
fourth homer in five at bats. I mean, that's absolutely incredible. He ends up with five homers in two days. I couldn't do that in Gary Beck's backyard playing <laughs> wiffle ball. <laughs> man, oh man, Jenkins, RBI single. Scores Belliard, it's a three nothing Brewer lead. Oh, by the way, an eight game hitting streak for the Brett Favre lookalike. Scott Stewart pitching. Jenkins, we love the little Mel Ott step with the shot of Haro O step. <laughs> a little everybody in there step. It's working. So he's got the double, he needs a triple. Jenkins to deep center. Milton Bradley makes oh. great board games. He can't make the catch though. God, five homers in two games, tying the major league record. Been done 20 times. What's the matter with this guy? He's gonna do a 4-6-3 double play. <laughs> He's allowed to, isn't he? Looking for the record in six homers in two games. But the list as the Brewers go on to just.